found a little humour in a generally dark situation now in the, uh, the Daily Telegraph, the Australian Daily Telegraph. And it says here that, um, and it, oh gosh, it's not quite centred. I wonder if I can move it. Got it. Right, that's better. It says here, Iranian academic compares Queen Elizabeth II to Adolf Hitler. So we can take it that he doesn't like Queen Elizabeth II very much. And so comparing her to Adolf Hitler is probably not a compliment. And I'm saying it that way because I wonder how much trouble he's going to get into his boss into with his bosses uh, because of something I'm going to show you in a minute. An academic in Iran has gone to town on the Queen with bizarre claims about how she was one of the greatest criminals in history. Iranian, I, I do wish it wouldn't do that. Iranian academic compares Queen Elizabeth II to Adolf Hitler. An academic in Iran, I, he was named in another site. Ah, Fawad Izadi. Uh, an academic in Iran has fumed at the Queen on TV calling the late monarch one of the greatest criminals in the history of making. No, don't ask me, it's just there on the page. Claiming she was responsible for the death of millions and comparing her to Adolf Hitler. So, apparently, Adolf Hitler is responsible for the deaths of millions. That's interesting. Hold that thought. Uh, from a certain perspective, we should be sad that this person died because she died without standing trial, without being punished and without paying for her crimes, he told Channel One Television. Uh, it's uh, all in line with... An, uh, this is an academic who said this, and it's sort of interesting that another academic in the USA uh, wished Queen Elizabeth an excruciating death for being such a terrible person. And I'm not going to repeat what she said because I just don't want to stain my mouth with those words. Uh, but the, the academic, so-called, is somebody called Uju Anya, and she is employed at Carnegie Mellon University, which is supposed to be a posh joint. Uh, I don't know what sort of academics they have there, but I would reckon if one of my kids ever wanted to go there, or eventually one of my grandchildren, I'd tell them to stay away. Okay, so that has been reported in the the Telegraph. Now, this is in uh, uh, a website called Khamenei. I think that's Khamenei. The top of the thing is off. Uh, it might be Khamenei, uh, but uh, anyway, whatever it is, it is a free Iranian paper in the about section they give um, publishing help to people who uh, now what, what does it say down here it's I iran wire and it says it it, it uh, empowers human rights activists and and that sort of thing so it's a not an official iranian paper it's from outside iran a bunch of revolutionaries really I suppose. Okay so uh, Iran's hardline media insults the memory of Elizabeth II. So again uh, they're saying this and as I said that previous academic said she was worse than Hitler. Now let's have a look at this. This is uh, an edition from Holocaust Memorial Day of this year which was in April. Uh, or it's about Holocaust Memorial Day, Khomeini newspaper praises Hitler on Holocaust Memorial Day. As it turns out, Hitler's a good guy. So um, it says here, in a year of calendar coincidences, the last days of April 22 posed an especially tricky one. While Holocaust Remembrance Day falls on April the 27th, the 28th, the Islamic Republic of Iran, Iran, the only state in the world to deny the Holocaust as a matter of policy, so it means the Holocaust didn't happen, uh, celebrates its annual anti-Israel Quds Day on April the 29th. This year, in a bid to welcome the latter event a day early, the ultra-conservative daily uh, Kayan 
Kaihan ran a range of related content in its April the 28th issue. The centerpiece, open praise for Adolf Hitler, leader of Nazi Germany and instigator of the genocide of six million Jews. OK, so according to this, its official policy in Iran that Hitler um, didn't do nothing. And this guy here is saying that the Queen is worse than Hitler, uh, who killed millions of people. And uh, I'd just like to ask anyone in the Iranian government, now, you can't have both at the same time. Uh, either Hitler was a bad guy, and the Queen is worse than Hitler, or Hitler didn't do nothing, so the Queen didn't do nothing either. Um, I... Um, I'd really like to know. OK, so uh, that's that's the story. Yep. I'm Granny Opterix. I'm to be found on YouTube, Rumble, BitChute and Mines. I uh, let you know when I've uploaded a video on Twitter, Gab and Parlor. Since YouTube is a bit careless, both about hanging on to subscriptions and notifying people, it might be a good idea to check your subscription if you're watching this on YouTube and to uh, subscribe to at Granny Opterix on Twitter Gabble Parlor so that you'll always get notifications from me rather than waiting for them. All right, I, I think that's about it. Yeah, please help my channel by liking this video, sharing it and subscribing or checking your subscription. And you can help me financially, buy me a coffee. In the description below, there's uh, information about a couple of other uh, places you can donate if you feel like doing so. Uh, but liking, sharing and subscribing is, is very good as well. Please do that. All right. Well, till next time. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opterix design or Granbo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.